Here we are in week three in the Omer period, this particularly important stretch of time between Passover and that great light of consciousness that comes into the world and Shavuot, which is your full capacity to receive it. And each week, as I've said, has its own quality. This week, the third week, we bring together those aspects of week one and week two through the quality of Tiferet. Tiferet's a beautiful world word, and I mean that specifically because, of course, it means beauty. It's a quality of integration, of the ability to bring together opposites in a way in which doesn't just reconcile them, but brings out the power of each in turn. And its symbol, as I've said, each one of these has a vowel, is this. Now, if you are here, the question is, where is this located? Right? The sound I'm after here actually goes above your head, and it's pronounced oh. And in many ways, that is the sound of Tiferet. Oh, that sense of awe when you realize how it all comes together. Right? There's a quality we have, an ability to put the pieces into right relationship, to make them fit in a way which isn't forced and doesn't demand that one gives up the other, but rather each in turn enhances the other. An example, perhaps, will assist. Right? If I am full of chesed, unbounded love, and without conditions in my giving, sometimes I become overwhelmed. That's why the ability to make those markers, to draw the lines of gvura, of might, is so important for my well-being. But you don't want to just snap back and forth between one and the other. We've all had the experience of giving too much and then realizing we've gone too far and snapping back to a very harsh, bounded posture. Tiferet is the ability to do the two with grace, to realize that, beside, that by deciding my boundaries, in turn, I facilitate my giving, and that by having a giving heart, my boundaries become a source of life and not of cutting me off. And the image I want you to take from this point, again, positioned above your head, this is actually the cholom for those who like the name, right? It's aspirational. You want to look upward as if right above your head was an aperture, like a lens on a camera, through which the broadest light possible could shine. But just as with the camera, the aperture has to be oh so small in order to let the light through in a way in which it can fully develop within your life. So during this week, I want you to ask, what is that point of integration? Where is the place within yourself, in your relationships with other, between you and God, you and the world, in which you see balance that allows you to bring the pieces together and give them their fullest expression. Mm -hmm.